Vada. In this video, we will learn about unit testing on template driven forms by using a HTML level and the complete tutorial of template driven forms and examples has been explained in Angular tutorials. Please watch that video before continuing. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here I have created an example and the example details and the explanation has been recorded in my Angular tutorial playlist. If you want to check the video, I'll provide the link in the description. You can go ahead and check it before continuing with this. And now here I have created a form. First, we will try to check this particular template driven form. So I have a form and I have two input fields with one is username and one is password. This username will be updated only on blur event of this particular element. And whenever this element has been blur, then my value will be updated. And whenever there is an update in the value, then my change event will be called. And also, there is something called as password element and here this password element will also be updated in the same way but whenever there is an input change happening on this input field then itself change event will be called but here whenever there is a blur event happened on this particular element then only my change event has to be called we will be checking all these cases in the spec file let me go to the spec file and here what i want to do is i want to create two elements that is let fixture colon component fixture and it is of app component and also there is something called as component instance colon app component this is my two variables and this variables what i'll do is i'll assign the instances testbed dot create component of app component i have created the app component fixture and also let me create component instance is equal to fixture dot component instance i have created these two instances and let me create one more it statement that is i want to check login form with template driven so i want to check the login form and this will have a callback inside the callback let me write our logic and this is an arrow operator so here fixture dot detect changes i have detected the changes and whenever it is stable then it's a promise based and here i'll have a callback inside this callback what i'll do is i'll try to get the element of the input field which is inside our form let me give id is equal to the value whatever i want to give the value i have to give here so id username so i have given the username id let me hit enter so that we can see the value here username and let me copy this username let me go here const username element equal to what i want to do is i want to get the element by using our fixture fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of an id let me pass the id and pass the username now i got the html user name element what I want to do is I want to update this element value value equal to what I want to do is sample username. I am assigning this sample username. Let me save this and whenever there is a change happening on this. So we have to trigger a input or event on this particular input field. Whenever we are triggering an event, then only our username value will be updated in general. So let me hit enter. What I'll do is username dot dispatch or we can even give the type what is the type html input element and this will give us the intelligence dispatch event of what is my event new event of some input value so i have updated the input value now what i want to do is i want to check this ng model change so whether this is called or not actually speaking we are changing the value of the username element whenever there is a change in the in ng model this change event has to be called let me create this change event spion so spion is something where we will be creating our functions as a mock function const change event mock is equal to let me create spy on of what i want to do is i want to pass the component name that is component instance and inside this instance i have change event 
which has to be called and dot so there is something called as call through let me use this call through whenever i am emitting this input this mock has to be called as per our understanding so what we are expecting is expect of this mock should be called to have been called times of one so i am updating only one time this value so it has to be called at least one time as per our understanding on the input change so whenever there is an input change by default our ng model should be called whenever our ng model is changed then this change event has to trigger so whenever this is triggering it has to call at least one time so what i will do is i'll run this application by using ng test let me hit enter but here as per our assumption it has to be failed so if you see here it has been failed why because the expectation is wrong so change event mock to have been called times of one why because we are calling the event over the input but here we wrote one more condition that ng modal option should be updated only on the blur event so we have created our input element value but what happened is we have not updated the value so that is where we are after dispatching this event what we can do is username element dot dispatch event of there is one more event where we can pass event of what is my value of that event blur event whenever there is a blur event then it has to be triggered two events that is input event which will change the value of the element and one more is blur event which will call the change event that is ng modal change if you see here this ng modal change will be called only upon blur event let me go here and let me write fixture dot detect changes let me use the detect changes once again because we have triggered some events and that has to be de detected by our fixture fixture dot when stable dot then it's a callback and inside the callback let me pass this expectation cut and pass here save this so it is saying export of name ng form not found so what it what it is doing is it is trying to get the forms module because there is no forms module configured let me use that forms module inside our routing testing module let me save this and go back this has been successfully compiled so for example let me remove this blur event for our understanding let me save this now it has to be failed why because input will update the input field value but we have wrote a condition like ng modal options so whenever my input field is blur then only my change event will be called so that is where we are checking whenever we are using blur event it will be successfully passed so we have tested this one now one more thing is we have a password field id is equal to password so i have given a password field and this is also inside the form but the only difference between the username and the password is here we don't have ng modal option inside the password so it has to be updated only on the input field input event it has to be updated only on the input event let me save this and go to the spec file what i will do is const i'll get the password element password element colon html input element equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my id the id is hash password so this is my id and i'll get the element on this element what i want to do is password element dot value should be equal to sample password so i have given this sample password and now whenever this password element is changed now i want to update my fixture before updating the fixture i have to dispatch some event on this password element let me dispatch the event as new event of input field and there is no ng modal options for this password elements if you see here we don't have any ng modal options so there is not a problem and now let me run this application it has been failed because this dispatch will call this mock function one time and this dispatch will call our mock function second time so total is two times it will be calling one is for password and one is for username so now my 
test case has been successfully passed let me go to this html and whenever there is a submit that means whenever i trigger the submit button my login has to be called at least once so that means let me go here and create an id is equal to submit id so i have created a submit id and what i'll do is i'll get this element into my html first so what i am doing here is const button element colon it's a html button element and here we can get the element by fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my id the id of this value is submit id let me copy the submit id and pass here and this will be prefixed with hash so now here i am using button element on this button element i can use a submit event or we can use on click event let me use we can use on click in javascript but here we are using a click event so whenever i use the click event what it has to do is it has to call this login function so let me mock this login function first so what i'll do is let me hit enter and let me create the login event mock is equal to spy on of my component instance and there is a login event so what is my name of the function login let me copy this and paste here and it has to be call through whenever i trigger the button so i have triggered this and it has to be called once so what is my expectation expect of my button mock should has to be called one time that means login event mock should be called one time whenever there is a click event happening on my button element let me save this if you see here it has been successfully passed that means it whole login form has been tested in this particular test case so let me split it this is a user element and this is the password element and this is the button click and also there are two mock functions which we have defined let me save this again and this will give you a clear understanding let me go to the second form what we have in the second form it is also same like login form but here what i did is i have created a confirm form this is an independent element from the form and this is the element which belongs to this form so what i want to do is i want to check whether both has been updated or used properly or not so what i want to check is i'll get this form element and inside the form element it should have only one input field because this standalone is a another ng model so what i can do is i can get this form values and whenever there is a submit happen this confirm method has to be called and here what i want to do is i want to check the input values of this form let me save this and go to the spec file here let me create a it function and inside it function confirm form check so here what we are doing is we are creating a callback function and what i want to do is i want to get this form from form method and i want to get the value of that particular form so let me detect the changes first detect changes and fixture dot when stable whenever it is stable then we will get a callback inside the callback function what i can get is i can get the form form details colon html form element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my form id the form id is let me create it id is equal to confirm form id let me copy this confirm form id let me save here and pass here with a hash prefixed semicolon now we got the form details and whenever there is a submit action happened on this id we will be checking that particular event let me use id is equal to confirm button so this is my id let me save this and go to the spec file let me create const confirm button colon html button element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my query selector the query selector is confirm button let me copy this paste here and pass hash so we got confirm button also and whenever i click on this confirm button 
then this submit should be called and whenever this is called my confirm method should be called let me create a spy on for this confirm method so const spy on that means mock function is equal to spy on of component instance comma what is the value confirm method dot and dot call through so whenever there is an event happened on this mock it has to be called so what i can do is confirm button dot on click or we can use click it's an angular one so click whenever there is a click event happened let me detect the changes detect the changes and fixture dot dot when stable it is a callback function inside the callback function what is my expectation expect of confirm method mock dot to have been called times of one so it has to be called once and also we got the form details here here what we can do is expect of form details dot length dot two equal of one save this and check the output if you see here expected three two equal of one why because the form details whatever the form element i am getting that particular form elements are getting as a whole input fields and the button that means whole set of input fields i am getting here but what i want to check is i want to check this ng model option for checking this so here we can expect of form details dot length should be equal to three that means three elements we have inside this form and whenever there is a confirm method happened here we will be getting a confirm form and let me go to the ts file and for our understanding what i'll do is i'll create a variable called as confirm values colon any so what i will do is i'll try to assign the values that means this dot confirm values equal to confirm form dot form dot value so what i am doing is whenever there is a change event or whenever there is a submit event that means confirm method here we can write here that is confirm value dot form dot value so here we will be getting the confirm method and whenever this confirm method is called then our value should be updated inside this confirm values so what is our expectation here is expect of component instance dot confirm values dot two equal of i want to get two fields one is the ng model with the name of the ng model for the for the first one and the ng model for the second one so what i want to do is i want to get this values let me give the name for this name is equal to password and name is equal to someone so what we are what i want to get is i want to get these two values whenever i am using in the spec file so what i can use is name the password value if you copy the password you can pass the password with an empty because we didn't change anything for that elements and also someone copy and pass here will be getting an empty because we didn't change this one also but here one condition to remember is we are not using ng modal option standalone true on the second element but we are using on the first element let me save this and if you see here there will be an error that is password colon empty will not exist if you see here the password is empty the password is empty but expected object to have the properties password colon empty so we don't have this password colon empty why because it's a standalone one and it will not belongs to your form let me save this and check the output two cases has been successfully passed so what i did here is whenever there is a submit action happened i am checking whether this form element exists inside this form or not why because whenever we are using a standalone as true then that element will not belongs to this form and whereas input field which is not having any ng modal options with standalone as true that will belongs to this form so that is why it is only getting the form value as the name some name but whenever i am trying to call the password it does not exist why because the form will not contain that password field itself because we are using standalone so that is how we can check ng modal options as well as ng modal change methods in a template driven form by using unit testing in angular hope you guys like my video if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you